war like situation between india and canada so many questions i have received what's going to happen will there be war is india going to war with somebody <laughs> situations are very tense between india and canada their diplomatic relations are at all time low almost <laughs> all right but as astrologers it's our job to see what could happen okay so if i can see uh, if you may allow me to see <clears throat> well i honestly don't think that there will be uh, any kind of physical escalation because i am seeing at i was seeing taurus ascendant why i am seeing taurus ascendant because india's chart uh, has taurus lagna <clears throat> so if i see for 21st september and uh, i put the time as around uh, 10:30 german time then i see there is taurus lagna just for me to check so if i see prominent planets uh, for example sun has entered <clears throat> virgo nonetheless uh, and mars is also there in virgo and virgo is the fifth house as you know right for taurus lagna so if i try to analyze uh, there are certain indications of war which are visible sometimes but in this case i do not see any such situation okay <clears throat> uh but yeah situation is a bit tense and whatever is going on uh, is not very good uh of course you could argue at a diplomatic level what is going on is good what is going on is bad but in general it is always good if you know countries are stabilized there <clears throat> our uh, diplomatic relations uh, but nonetheless we we have the reality in front of us so the thing is uh, regarding this uh, transit for taurus lagna there is venus in the third house in cancer current in in transit currently so this means there will be some uh, diplomatic back channel talks and see venus generally represents developed countries okay so the other developed countries you know like america then uk new zealand australia they may also uh, get involved into this not directly as i said not in the face but uh, they, there could be more back channel talks and uh, they may try to pressurize either canada or india to make some statement but nonetheless i don't see that uh, india is escalating uh, things or e e even canada you know that they are escalating things to a physical level i do not see that okay i i think that is highly unlikely okay. of course okay. india has uh, cancelled uh, has terminated uh, the visa operations for canadian nationals that is one concern and uh, canada has not done it yet canada may do it or canada may not do it but uh, these are all like you know this is also war but this is more like diplomatic financial wars you know it's not like literally like russia ukraine war so i don't see anything of that sort happening uh, for india especially uh, because of this uh, problem that has happened now uh, the indian stock market has uh, gone down by a, by by some measures not not very 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 bad this is because uh the there are some companies who have uh, I, th i think it's related to canada's can pension funds or something like that you know there are some companies which have invested in india or the government especially and because of that fear uh, of this war uh people have started withdrawing their money that is why the stock market is plummeting but i think this is only temporary uh it will go up very soon okay there may be some corrections again but it will go up eventually in the long run 
and especially till uh, mid of april i see uh, the stock market should rise okay especially for india and, and that that's but natural because india is the fastest growing economy <clears throat> and of course i see uh, this mercury is in the fourth house so mercury in the fourth house a lot of things are hidden okay there's a lot of propaganda in the background okay certain things which we know uh, in uh, we means the public knows that is not something which is uh, actually the truth most of it is actually speculation and what is going on inside nobody knows okay and of course i see that uh, shani is in the 10th house shani is aspecting mercury also so shani shani is in the 10th house so things will not come easily okay and shani will be in the 10th house for some, quite some time but then uh, 2025 i think yes shani is entering the 11th house for india which is the best house uh, of the zodiac for kaliyuga for gains networks uh, wealth investments you know all this <clears throat> and next year 8th lord jupiter is also who is also the 11th lord will enter india's lagna because jupiter will enter taurus first of may 2024 right so i have al already said that from that time onwards you know india's golden period will begin but now itself also till mid of april that india has a very phenomenal time so essentially if i answer for india then i think this conflict will surely not be escalating to any physical war but this can go on for some considerable period of time and in this uh, i somehow feel that india has an upper edge okay now i cannot say this with very much certainty because i i i have to see the charts of the indian leaders and the canadian leaders especially the prime ministers <clears throat> and that and that takes a lot of time you know because the data that you have you need to verify you need to verify the events so uh, i can't say that with very certainty but from a first glance what it looks to me is that canada will be on the losing end for this not exactly on the losing end but yeah it's like at the end uh, it seems uh, india will be winning okay now winning does it mean that uh, india will prove that canada's allegations are false um, or canada actually you know which means canada actually proves the allegations well maybe india does it or maybe it can happen that canada proves what they are saying you know uh, as they have accused india of certain things maybe they prove that then india gives some other proof that canada is doing something else and overall the international perception becomes you know oh, maybe uh, canada is a bigger criminal <laughs> and that's how diplomacy works that's how geopolitics works right <clears throat> so and then we have jupiter rahu in the 12th uh, terrible misinformation terrible 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 so this is like trines to mercury this is like the height of propaganda okay so there is very serious uh, misinformation going on on both the sides to a large extent so therefore whenever you see some news regarding this uh, please verify go into the details and try to see uh, what is actually the information what is actually not okay <clears throat> and why only canada I mean, maybe there are some issues which can come up with some other countries also but whatever it is nonetheless whichever country whichever country will now try to bully india especially now or after first of may 2024 or even now i think they will be learning an unforgettable lesson from india you know india will not spare anybody now
But of course, as I said, there will be a lot of propaganda and a lot of misinformation and it's going on both the sides. And that is something which I don't like, but that is something which I cannot change. It's not in my control. And for India, by end of October, Rahu would have entered uh, Pisces, which is again the 11th house. Okay, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal period. <clears throat> So now because of Rahu uh, in the 12th, there are still some challenges which are coming, you know, from other countries, foreign countries. Like uh, India also took a very strong stand in the Russia-Ukraine war. It did not take sides. Or rather, it did not condemn Russia. That is what the West wanted. So there is some pressure, you know. There's some, uh, some craziness going on. But of course, India has a very strong and a very historic relationship with Russia. So nonetheless, uh, at the end, I think this should not escalate uh, to a physical war. But there will be pressure on both the sides from other countries, especially the other developed countries. <clears throat> so I hope both the countries, they get into the table and they settle out and they clear out this mess that has happened. <clears throat> Uh, not blaming anybody here, but uh, that's how it is. That's how geopolitics is, you know. Uh, the trigger is now short, okay. <clears throat> so every, both of them are like doing tit for tat. But nonetheless, I feel India has an upper edge on this, okay. But again, it will not be easy. It will be filled with propaganda and misinformation, okay. So please be very careful when you watch news regarding this. Most of the news could be fake. Or maybe they are showing you something, but that's not what the reality is. Or, or maybe they are trying to tell you, oh, maybe this will happen, that will happen, you know, the news channels. But maybe something else happens. Because nobody actually knows what are what's going on inside in the backdoor channels, you know, in the backdoor diplomacy. Maybe so many other countries are involved. I'm very sure other countries are involved in this. Venus in Cancer in the third house. I'm 100% sure many other countries are involved. <clears throat> and if I see Moon's placement, Moon is in Scorpio. Now, when I'm making this video, and I think this allegation was put by the Indian, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, on... 19th right on Tuesday if I am correct and that time in my knowledge I think Moon Ketu they were like conjunct yeah not a nice thing okay in the 6th house what is 6th house 6th house is you know blame 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 you did this he did this she did this okay and Ketu is still there so till October end November mid the conflict is there <clears throat> Of course, that doesn't mean when Rahu Ketu changes signs, it will magically disappear. But um, by November, Rahu would have entered the 11th and Ketu would have gone to the 5th. So more, more advantage for India. And somehow, because Jupiter is in the 12th house, so India is somehow receiving uh, support from other countries, you know. Not like literally some support, not that somebody has come and said, you know, that Canada is speaking lies. <clears throat> but being a developing country, no other developed country has directly condemned India. Okay, They've said we have concerns, but they have not directly condemned India. So this is almost like a very big diplomatic victory for India. <clears throat> This is because of the presence of Jupiter in the 12th house, okay. Situations are very tense because of Rahu, but yeah, things are piling up slowly. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I think from 1st of October, Mercury, the 5th lord of uh, the chart, will enter the 5th house again, its own house in exaltation. So then the strength will again increase, okay. So what's the date today? 21st September. Yeah, still a bit some uh, bit bit off by around eight to nine days. But I think eventually India will have the upper hand, and there are a lot of other secrets which will come out, which will be revealed, which the normal people may not know till the time Mercury is 
in the fourth house okay in leo till the end of september i guess okay so october will be very exciting and of course uh, this is not just with canada you know other countries so for india the time is very exciting as i already said in uh, my video <clears throat> that this special session of the parliament is also going on and from 14th september onwards this new moon was there in the fifth house so <clears throat> sorry in the fourth house you know not in the fifth house because sun has just entered virgo <clears throat> So fourth house represents, you know, deep issues which are very central to the public and to the fund foundation, the fundamental things of a country. And tomorrow, 22nd, is the last day of the session. So they have passed the women reservation bill in both the houses. And tomorrow, there's the last day. Let's see what surprise comes in. But the planets are uh, playing out very interestingly, okay? But before I go, Jupiter Rahu aspecting Mercury. Oh my God. Horrendous misinformation. Okay, so please be aware before. And the best thing is not to get into fights with anybody. Okay, so at the end, I think India seems to have an upper edge. Okay, that will be all from my side. Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a consultation, you will find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of the fact you are an Indian or you are from Canada or any other country. <laughs> Thank you.